Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Fat Blokes Shorts. On today's show, we're going to talk all about teleportation. Teleportation is a big deal. It's the ability to move a running VM from one host platform to another host platform without stopping the execution of the virtual machine. Now the reason this is a big deal is because if you're in a mission critical uh, business environment, let's say you're running your uh, corporate web server from uh, within a virtual machine, it means you can now move your virtual machine to another host platform without stopping it, thereby continuing, enabling continuous operation of your web server even when you have to take the physical hardware down. Now, this is something that a virtual machine can do which a physical machine can't do and other virtualization platforms have offered this in a technology called live migration so why didn't we call it live migration well the reason is because teleportation is more than live migration because virtualbox is a hosted virtualization solution which means it runs on top of your existing uh, operating systems or existing host platforms we have more opportunities to do cooler stuff so with teleportation you can move a running machine across different host platforms you can move it from say a windows server to a linux server you can move it across different classes of host machines. So you could run it from, you can move a virtual machine from, say, your laptop to a server or server to laptop. And also, VirtualBox allows you to move a virtual machine across different CPU architectures, for instance, Intel to AMD as well. So effectively, teleportation is much more than live migration. So, what we want to do in today's episode is show you how this works. And uh, the setup I'm going to use is that I'm going to move a Windows XP virtual machine from a source machine, which is my Mac, to a destination machine, which is a Windows 7 PC that I have sitting uh, in the office with me here too. Now, the prerequisite for moving virtual machines around is that the virtual machine, in this case the Windows XP machine, accesses uh, its hard drive on a shared location so that when it moves from source to destination it can still access that hard drive. In this today's episode I'm actually using an SMB share for my shared storage as I move the virtual machine around. So how do we make it all happen? VirtualBox has a data model whereby each VirtualBox node knows all about itself but doesn't really know about any other VirtualBox instance. And therefore, what we've done with teleportation is expose APIs which allows higher level business logic to call those APIs to move the VMs around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the command line to exercise these APIs. Uh, and so this may look difficult to do, but in reality there would be um, some high level uh, program that would actually be driving this operation in a normal business uh, environment. So it's a two-stage process. The first thing that we need to do is we need to prepare the destination host to receive this virtual machine. And so what we will do is we'll go to our Windows 7 PC and we'll modify the virtual machine that is going to receive this teleport. And we do three things. We specify that the teleporter is turned on. We, we tell the virtual machine to, or virtual box to listen on a particular port for a teleport that's going to come into it. And we can optionally also provide a password so that you can only accept teleports that present, prevent the, uh, present the right credentials. The second thing that we'll do is we'll invoke the teleport on the source machine and again I'll do that using the command line and I'll use VBox Manage Control VM the name of the virtual machine and I'll tell the virtual machine to teleport then I need to tell it which host to teleport to so I'll provide a DNS name or an IP address that's a TCP IP address I also specify the TCP IP port that the host is listening in and we, we prepared that on the destination earlier and I also provide the password if the destination host is expecting to receive one. And all being well, the virtual machine will move from the source to the destination without interruption. 
Okay, so this is my um, source machine and I have got VirtualBox installed on here and as you see I've got a bunch of VMs and the one I'm going to teleport is the Windows Shared VM. I've called it Windows Shared. Now I'm going to send this from this Mac to a Windows 7 machine and in order to see that happening on the same screen as we're using here for creating this movie I'm going to remotely connect in to my PC. So this is now looking at my destination PC and VirtualBox is installed on here and you see I've got a Windows Shared VM configured over here too. The configuration of this Windows Shared VM has to be identical to the one that we have over here and you may notice that uh, the storage device is pointing to this disk which is the same as the one that's over in the Windows world Windows XP over here as well. So Let's start up our Windows XP machine, and here it is. Now this is going to get complicated, so one of the things I'm going to do is start up Notepad, and I'm going to type in here where we're up to. So this is Windows XP running, running on a Mac, and I hope you can see that that really is Windows XP running on a Mac. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the destination machine, the Windows 7 PC, and I'm going to prepare the Windows Shared machine to receive this teleport. So the, what we need to do is we need to modify the VM, Windows Shared. We need to say that the teleporter is going to be turned on and we tell the teleporter to sit on a TCP IP port, let's choose 9999 here, and we'll provide a password, and let's call the password, password. Okay, let's do that. We've now prepared the teleporter. What we'll now do is if we start this virtual machine up on the destination host, you'll see that the VM window starts up and it says I'm teleporting the virtual machine. So that this is now sitting there waiting for a teleport to come in. Back on our destination, or our source machine, we need to do the invocation of this teleport. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use a terminal window to do this and I'm going to specify that we are going to control the virtual machine which is called Windows Shared. I'm going to teleport it, that's the verb that we're going to operate on the Windows Shared VM. I'm going to send it to a host machine and here's a TCP IP address of the destination machine. The port that we were going to use which is 9999 and the password which we just had as password. So as I hit carriage return to invoke this we will see that this Windows XP machine over here transfers itself to this Windows 7 VM, uh, this Windows 7 host, uh, while it was still running. So if I go over here and type in the notepad, now Windows XP is running on, on, Windows, on a Windows 7 host. So that was teleporting, piece of cake really, but that was too easy. The virtual machine wasn't really doing anything. So what I want to do is I want to send the machine back to my Mac. So we turn the, um, the naming convention the wrong way around. My Windows 7 machine is now the source and my ho Mac is going to be the host. And this time I want to do something far more adventurous. So I'm going to stop Notepad here and I, I'm actually going to run a movie. Okay, so let's turn the volume down a little bit. And you can see that we have a wildlife movie running there. It's high definition video. It's running in my Windows XP VM, running on my Windows 7 host. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go, first of all, to my Mac uh, host over here. And I have to modify the VM to say, turn the teleporter on, tell it which port it's on, tell it which password to use, and then over here, I'm going to start up that virtual machine ready to receive the session. So that's sitting there waiting for this to come in. I'm going to clean up a few windows here so we can see what's going on. And then back to the Windows 7 source machine. I'm going to now type in uh, some different parameters to say control the virtual machine 
teleport it to my Mac, which is the host IP address is 129.156.4.12 to the port it's sitting on and the password it's sitting on. So I'm about to take carriage return and then I'm going to zoom out using the Mac expose so we can see this running video move from host the Windows 7 host to the Mac host without stopping execution. So I'm going to do that right now. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> now what's happening here is the memory uh, state of the virtual machine on the window on Windows 7 is being copied to the virtual machine on, on the host and that's all happened without the video stopping running so hopefully you can see the seagulls the beavers and everything continue to uh, be moving so that's teleportation join us again soon on fat bloke tv